me. I mean, what's the importance of Asia really in this dispute? Uh, yeah, well, absolutely. I, I think it's, it's crucial that the, the centre of gravity for the global energy market has shifted in recent years. Um, go back to the big um, you know, Gulf disputes of the past, the 73-1979 um, uh, oil crises, uh, 1989, the, 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 the first Gulf War, 2003. Uh, the US and Europe consumed about half the world's oil exports, more than half the world's oil exports at that point. But that's changed recently. Uh, if, you look, uh, if you look at the sort of current status of things, um, that Asian nations consume about three quarters of the Gulf's um, crude oil exports and two thirds of Qatar's gas exports. So the real centre of um, you know of this battle is really going to be taking place in Asia in many ways. Yeah, so uh, what we're curious about is which side, if uh, Qatar or the Arab nations that are allied against it, uh, which side has the advantage here when it comes to these Asian nations? And you can see here on the Bloomberg, uh, the chart, G hashtag BTV space 9178. Uh, David, if you can just hang in there, we can show our viewers what imports uh, from Qatar to Japan and South Korea have done. This is, of course, from uh, Qatar, the LNG market. That Those imports have slowed in fact and, and this at a time when uh, just LNG prices have stood uh, relatively steady uh, since uh, 2011 to 2017 that's the second panel so uh, when you're looking at it in the broader context of who wins in this Gulf uh, crisis what can you tell us yeah, well, uh, exactly. Uh, I think that that chart tells the story perfectly because there is a there's a uh, uh, there's an acute glut in the world of of LNG. There's uh, you know the oil market's pretty well supplied as well, but it's it's nowhere close to what you have for LNG. Uh, let's look at Japan, the world's biggest LNG uh, importer. Uh, its regasification terminals are running at 44% capacity. They're not being used very much at all. Its its oil refineries are at about 85% of capacity. And if you compare its dependence on Saudi and Qatar on the other side. Um, Saudi Arabia provides about 40% of Japan's oil imports. Um, Qatar, even though Japan is the biggest um, uh, LNG importer, Qatar only supplies about 17% uh, of Japan's uh, LNG imports. Malaysia and Australia are actually bigger suppliers. Um, so that would, you'd say that would be advantage Saudi. Uh, and after all, crude is a much bigger market. It's uh, uh, about 3 billion million tons a year of, of oil are traded compared to about 300 million of, of LNG.